Guys, should we do it? Should we review She-Hulk episode six? She-Hulk. <laughs> oh, Shulky. Uh, all right. So this episode of She-Hulk uh, entitled Just Jen. Um, so we start off with Jen gets an invitation to be a bridesmaid at a wedding. And she like opens invitation. And there's like tons of confetti. Now, I swear like the invitation said like the name Julie on it. But apparently like this woman's. Goes by Lulu or whatever. That's what they call her for the rest of the show. <laughs> don't, don't, don't pay too much attention. Yeah. <laughs> what could it mean? <laughs> now, okay. So, like, her and Nikki, like, she's getting ready for this thing. And she she does one of her fourth wall breaks. And actually, I, I kind of called something from last week because I said, that, you know, they tease Daredevil. And I'm like, well, you know, a lot of times when they have a steep cliffhanger like that, the next show, they don't. Yeah. You know, do anything with it. A lot of shows do that. I think it's just to get people to make sure they come back two weeks in a row rather than one or something. I don't know. But basically, she breaks the fourth wall and she's like, oh, a self contained wedding episode. Well, that's inconvenient. Like, you know, weddings are inconvenient. So or, I don't forget exactly what she said. But basically, she's specifically like busting our balls <laughs> saying, you wanted to see Dare- <laughs> Daredevil, didn't you? Well, it's not going to happen. <laughs> It's like, we know this is bad writing, but uh, we're going to at least admit to it. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I wanted to ask. Like, did you guys think that that was clever or just annoying? Because I lean towards annoying. Yeah. It, it was trying to be clever, but it, like, the rest of the show has to have something. Otherwise, you're just telling the truth, and it's a horrible one. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, and that's one thing I've noticed in this show is I really think like the writers are are writing in a very defensive manner, where they're like, okay, like the people that are going to be watching this are going to be men's rights activist assholes, and we got to write this show where we <laughs> piss them off, <laughs> where we totally like throw something at them every episode. And to me, I'm like. I don't think the majority of people who would give the show She-Hulk a legitimate shot are probably, you know, men's rights activist types. You know, I'm certainly not, and I feel like I don't need this lecture, you yeah. know? And that's it's, what it, it's preaching. That's what it feels like every, a little bit every episode is there's a lecture. It doesn't, you know? I do feel like it's tones. It's backed off from like the first couple episodes where it was like every five minutes. Although I will say there's something that we'll get to at the very end of this episode where I feel like they just are doing it again. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'd like him to there's, see There's definitely them. like some messages coming before the stories, coming before the characters, just coming before like any like thing that would make it good. I feel it's like when we criticize this stuff, we almost can't win because people – think that we're then becoming like those people but i mean we haven't had any like comments where people are like oh your pieces of shit that's true well not yet though <laughs> I, I mean feel we, need free. More, we need more viewers before it's we okay get more gotta haters some, gotta gotta drink some more haters, haters. <laughs> no it's uh, we can corner the market on man hate it's, <laughs> no, it's like i really am okay with them like you know addressing like you know issues that women face but when you when you do it like they've been doing, it just the I biggest, don't know. It, the it, biggest issue she's actually faced is like another petty bitchy woman. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, is that is kind of true. That is kind of true. Also, Titania, like she's not the villain. She's not the villain of this show. Like she's too not evil enough. Like she's just she's not evil. Uh, yeah. If she's a villain of this piece, she's a very weak villain, yeah. as we'll see in, in this episode as well. Um, anyway, Jen shows up at the wedding as She-Hulk in in like her dress, and is that dress like the one like the guy? It's one of the designer ones. Okay, that's what yeah. I thought. Uh, this angers Lulu because basically Jen's soaking up all the attention as She-Hulk. So Jen promises that um, at the wedding she she'll show up as herself and not. Um, as She-Hulk. Um, so now we go back to the law firm. So this guy named Craig Hollis, who goes by Mr. Immortal. Oh, yeah, Mr. Immortal. He hires Miss Book, who we find out her name is Mallory, um, as uh, to settle like a divorce case. And <laughs> so we, we find out that basically this guy's been married a bunch of times, and eventually he gets tired of the spouse he's with, 
and he quote unquote dies because when he dies, he comes back to life, tense, Mister Immortal. But here, here's the logic problem with this. He, 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 so he's basically like faking his death, right, to get out of these relationships. But as we see in a minute, he throws himself out the window, dies, immediately comes back to life. So, like, how how did he convince these all these people that he when he came back to life was he holding his breath and still right. because I think after you get hit by like the four cars or whatever the scenario was, like you still have to play dead for a little while until they like go away. <laughs> yeah, like one of them said he took a cyanide pill, but it's like, well, he would have just came back to life. Did he was he just like sleeping there pretending to be dead? Maybe it's like the the caveat that in the license is like till death do us part. Yeah, that, I think that's what he's focusing on. Like he's dead. Like all right, I just died. That's that's it. We Contract just, fulfilled. Yeah, we're over. Okay, so he's, but then like a lot of. In a later scene, it seemed like a lot of the people were saying that, like, he fooled them into thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at first I thought, just like you did, well, and he kind of mentioned that, like, yeah, he's technically dead, so death do their part, the marriage would be over. And I'm like, that seems like kind of a weak thing, but okay. But then later on it made it seem like, oh, no, he was faking his death. These people actually believed he was dead. But then that just brings up so many other questions of, like, how did he actually pull that off? Yeah. Mm. Um, and they, it, it's just um, – he's kind of an interesting character, but when you when you really think about that, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, so yeah, Nikki and Mallory, they kind of start arguing in front of this guy, causing him to jump out the window, like I said. <laughs> I, I, I felt like, I was like, I commiserate with this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only we could all do that. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're just like in a conversation and you just get tired of it and you're just like, ah, see you later. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely feel that. <laughs> But then, like, he landed on a car, and there's a bunch of people around. They're like, he could have landed on somebody. Yeah, there could have been yeah, someone in that car true. that he just fucking killed or something. That's true. Um, so now we're back at, like, a before the wedding, like a wedding party type thing. And Titania shows up at the wedding uh, party. <laughs> I wrote, Lulu acts like Jen is crazy to be suspicious of Titania, even though they just went through like a court case <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> where they were, you know, opposing each other. She's like, well, like apparently like she picked up one of her, like one of uh, the bride's friends as a date and so she could come as a plus one. <laughs> yeah, it was very odd. Yeah, you're like, yeah. This happens all the time. <laughs> you know, it's, New York City is a small place. Like, everybody knows each other there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought it was, like, she's acting like Jen is, like, a real loony for, like, thinking Titania is, like, out to get her. And it's just, like, she was literally just out to get me. Yeah. Like, we had a court case. Didn't you watch the last episode? <laughs> um, so, Jen goes kind of outside, and she starts getting hit on by this guy named Josh. Uh, but then Lulu immediately... What? So. Was that guy the plus one? Like, did he bring Titania? They didn't say that. She asked him if he had a plus one, and he said no. And she was like, she didn't understand who, how it was decided who gets a plus one and who doesn't. Okay, I was feeling like suspicious of him, but maybe I was. Uh... Well, and you were maybe right to be when we get later on in the episode. Um, so he hits on her, but then Lulu immediately comes over and asks her to start cleaning things up. And like, this was constant, like Lulu being a bitch to her and like, you know, treating her like she's lesser or whatever. Yeah. I, she was not a, a likable character. No. You're just like, why are you friends with this bitch? Exactly. Exactly. Um, so now there's a meeting, uh, Mr. Immortal's exes are in a meeting with him, Nikki and Mallory. Uh, Mallory says that she can help him, but he, he's got to pay. And like, she was kind of being like a, like treating him like kind of shitty. And he's, he's like, aren't you on my side or something? And she's like, well, not really, but I'll help you, but you got to pay me or something. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't just like walk on them because they were really kind of pieces of shit too. I know. Like they acted like no lawyer would act at all, you know? Um, Okay. Um, so the bridesmaids now give Jen, uh, the groom, the groomsman's clothing to either like iron or wash or some shit. Um, cause they were playing Mario Kart and they got wrinkly or some weird bullshit. 
Yeah. Um, oh, there's something I forgot to mention earlier is like they were going through the wedding and they're like, okay, you're going to be walking with so-and-so, you, so-and-so. And she's like, do I not have someone to walk with? And they're like, oh, you're walking with Jonathan. And all the girls are like, oh, Jonathan's so cute or adorable or whatever. Well, now we find out that Jonathan is like this little like dog. <laughs> <laughs> Did they make like some reference to like he had died and they resuscitated him or something? <laughs> I don't remember that, but it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, this ugly dog. You're like, well, I don't know. He's still a dog. Mm. Um, so now back to the the um, court. Uh, Mister Immortal uh, tries to pay off his exes. Says he'll split his his fortune with all of them. Uh, evenly, but then they argue because, like, one woman's like, "Well, I had a kid with this son of a bitch, and you were just with him for this such and such length of the time, and all this kind of bullshit." <clears throat> um. So now, oh God, this was stupid. Nikki gets all of them to agree to a um a settlement that involves like all this weird shit. Like one woman just like gets a an apology with like eye contact or something just a bunch of really stupid bullshit that i don't even know if it's worth talking about yeah, it was like 20 seconds <laughs> this guy's like he's like in the corner and like he just keeps killing himself he's like god damn <laughs> <laughs> his story is actually interesting i, I wish in i comics. could die <laughs> oh what's his story in the comics I was, i'm not super familiar with him well he's he's lived like a, a horrible existence like uh you know everybody dies around him like there's like a i think there's like a being that's kind of like connected to him or something that that kills people that he cares about around him but doesn't do anything to him like i think he's cursed by that being or something oh so he's like he lives forever and like he has to watch all the people he loves die yeah, yeah the only yeah. way i can have a relationship is with these bitches who i hate <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't kill them <laughs> he found it he found the loophole <laughs> all i gotta find is the worst women around. <laughs> Uh, so now back at the wedding party, Jen gets drunk and she kind of has like this flirty conversation with that Josh guy. Uh, but then she has to puke. So she goes outside and while she's puking, uh, Titania comes up and basically gives her like a hockey punch to the face, which is so hard that it sends her flying back. Now, I don't know how the Hulk powers work, but she doesn't have like a mark on her. Right. right. I thought she should have been dead right there. <laughs> she should have at least had like a broken <laughs> nose or some shit. Yeah. Well, you know, in, in like the first Avengers movie, like Banner talks about like he tried to commit suicide, but okay. like, you know, the Hulk caught the bullet after he shot it. But like she didn't change into the Hulk immediately getting punched so are we to believe like just her like regular person frame took that punch and was fine right i guess because she was also drunk she's like i forgot how to be the hulk right right um so yeah titania and also like when they're outside her like nobody notices this is going on right but um Titania basically says she wants to fight her, but she wants to fight the Hulk, so she wants her to Hulk out. And like you said, yeah, she's drunk, so like she's having trouble like hulking out or whatever. At first, just her legs hulk out or whatever. But eventually, she hulks out. She causes like a big earthquake with her stomp or whatever that sends Titania back into the wedding party. So now, like everybody realizes that they're uh, fighting. Um, so this fight doesn't last very long, and Titania just, like, slips on something on the ground, like ice or something, and slips and, like, breaks her veneers, yeah. like her teeth. I <laughs> mean, so even the accent in the show is, like, nothing. Yeah. There I mean, was, she's there was just, like, a, a punch in the She's stone. just a social media person, like, isn't that her whole deal? But she apparently has powers of some kind, right? Well, yeah, Like, she super has strength or something? Some kind of strength, yeah. it seems like, yeah. God. So now Lulu comes up, and, and we would kind of think she would be mad because, like, Jen hulked out, but, like, she's not mad. And I I, I think, like, she must be drunk or yeah, something. Yeah, drunk, yeah. Yeah. Um, so now, back in the office, Mallory reveals to Nikki that she's married with a kid. And so this makes it seem to me like we probably won't get Miss Book scissoring She-Hulk in the future, <laughs> yeah. which is... A little it's depressing. And yeah. Very disappointing. Another, <laughs> enough, another cliffhanger. <laughs> Down the drain. <laughs> this show is just giving me say. less and less hope. <laughs> you should say. <laughs> cliffhanger. <laughs> 
You know what? It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth the wait. <laughs> okay, so after that conversation, they're like on the computer, and there's like some sort of pop up about like a She Hulk hate group right. or something. Like, why would they just get this random pop up that Intelligentsia, I think, is the website? Yeah, so so they actually created an account based on this pop up. And yeah, so they it joins this like uh, group called Intelligentsia, which is like this uh, online hate group that specifically hates She Hulk. Mm-hmm. So then again, like we were talking at the. <laughs> we should make that website. <laughs> <laughs> we might be already. I don't know. Our YouTube channel is becoming. Um, but again, this this is once again like that kind of defensive, like, like let's hate on the haters. Like they're the ones that got to be watching this. I, I, I just, I don't know. It, it seems weird to me the way they're constantly harping on this. We should do like a She Hulk uh, skit, but like one of us has to get painted green. <laughs> <laughs> Not it. <laughs> Not it. Uh, <laughs> you came up with the idea. Let's call the whole thing. Up. <laughs> <laughs> you have a beard and everything. <laughs> but also, like, wouldn't um, wouldn't the guys that hate She Hulk on this site? Wouldn't they basically hate every female superhero, and and it would be like, and not just like Hulk, She Hulk specific. At least Carol Danvers. Oh yeah, yeah. I assume she would be on there. <laughs> People seem to not like her for some reason. I don't know. Um. So Nikki um uh, leaves Jen like a phone message about this intelligentsia place. Um. But her and Josh are now sharing a batch of French fries, and we find out that this intelligentsia group is, like, uh, um, spying on them. And it seems like possibly finding a way to steal her DNA, because we know they were trying to do that Yeah, they're still trying to get her DNA. But I was like, are they somehow, like, she's eating the French fries, and is that stealing her DNA? Or are they just, like, getting ready to steal her DNA? I wasn't sure. Yeah, I don't know. It was a bit confusing. I, I still think that guy from that date before has something to do with it, Tim or whatever. Because like they, they brought him back for the next episode, or, so I don't know. Now I'm thinking that if any guy is gonna be like, you know, working for the bad guys, it's gonna be this Josh guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they're gonna. Maybe have they like, both are. Yeah, ghosts of. Or maybe the twist will be past. this Josh guy is actually a good guy. <laughs> I don't know. Like. I did hear a theory like online that the um the girl who invited her and this Josh guy are both working in tandem with the uh, whoever's like trying to get her DNA and not Lulu. <laughs> like she like it's weird that she invited her to the wedding, right? Like and made her like a best I feel like that Lulu lady's too much of like an airhead to be like a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. well, and she plus was, she like she went was, to high school with her. She was something. definitely drunk enough they could have stolen the DNA. Yeah. yeah. The blood. It's true. <laughs> Josh is like, I collected the DNA on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Which is over there now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't want to bang you. Like, I would want to because she's hot, but sure. she would rip that thing right off. Like, as soon as she gripped it, she, boom, game You on. think so? Oh, nobody could fuck She-Hulk. Who could? <laughs> well, somebody could have. Bruce could. <laughs> <laughs> this is, she's cursed. <laughs> she can only bang her cousin. <laughs> well, she banged that one dude, so. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. he, was, he was sound as a pound. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't feel like that was very realistic. <laughs> I think she would have murdered him in real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's his kink is to be with someone who can, like, manhandle him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's just throwing it at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like indentions on his body. <laughs> now, so we've had this episode. Do you think we'll get Daredevil next episode? Or the, the... I hope so. By the way, I'm going to try to call it. I'm going to say the episode he shows up, the episode title is She Devil. Who's he defending oh. or what's the case? He needs to be have a case. Well, I'm guessing maybe he's had a run in with this intelligentsia group or something. Hmm. I see. 
I mean, I don't know. What would you say? What is it? The hand? I, I, always thought, I always thought Kingpin would be the thing that like ties this all together, but... That would be too interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to reintroduce Kingpin from that cliffhanger in no. Echo or, this, or that Hawkeye. But you made a good point. Like, we've seen enough Titania now to know that like she's doesn't seem interesting enough to right. be like, you know... And she's just not like malicious enough to be a, a real villain. No. Know? But it is weird to show like it wants to be self-contained episodes, which I guess would be fine if they were all self-contained episodes. But there, there is like enough like foreshadowing and continuity between them that it, I don't know. It, it's a it it's weird. It doesn't work though. Yeah, it's a strange choice. I, I mean, especially when shows started going with these like long seasons where you could have, you know, a continuous storyline like. It's proven out to be like a much better format than just like a, a sitcom or a, whatever those series used to do back in the day. I mean, I feel like certain things are fine for like, you know, a lot of old school sitcoms, you know, Seinfeld, whatever. Yeah, I mean, they made it work. Comedies but... like that are fine for it. But then like... I mean, like Seinfeld was very funny for me, but I was never like hooked in like I was with like Breaking Bad or something. Yeah, I'll grant you that. Like you you don't you're not as attached. You're not, you're not like it's not as compelling. Even though yeah, I I mean there's definitely shows that work. Well, that's because of the idea of those shows is you can jump in on any episode and it's fine. Yeah. Whereas that's not really true with this show. Yeah, it's like, some weird bastard. Like, child. if you were just to drop in on, on this episode, I mean, you would get it, but there would be an, enough um, beforehand that you didn't know. that. You yeah, know. you'd be missing some context. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever it is, like, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to put your finger on it exactly, but it, it doesn't, it's not working well. It's not working. And I don't see uh, three more episodes, whether self-contained or not. I don't see it them saving I, 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 this show in my mind. We've been going with this for a while, and part of me is like, should we just stop? Like, we've just been flailing this dead horse <laughs> every well, week. I mean, we kind of uh, we got to finish it out now. I mean, and, and I know we sound like we're just hating, hating, hating. Like, I do hope always that the show improves and gets better. It's just. Yeah, and, and from, I, I still am intrigued to see uh, Daredevil. Yeah, uh, I think this is all kind of like homework because just to be like uh, caught up on the Marvel Cinematic Universe and everything that's going on it, you kind of do have to like know about these these shows and movies that are coming out. That's she, true. She's just gonna meld into the bigger universe and be like, she went through such travails with those dating scenes. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be worth it when they show all those women heroes together again. <laughs> but on top of that, she has no arc at all. Like, Honestly, if, if they filter her into like a big budget movie, like I'm just going to want to see her like get an action scene that's actually good. <laughs> or, well, I mean, like Bruce has multiple Hulks, like, so maybe she could have a different, like, you know, PMS Hulk or something. <laughs> That'll get some mail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a soundbite for you. You know what? Maybe we do deserve the hate from female <laughs> groups. Maybe we do. Maybe we've earned it. There's already a Red Hulk. Uh, that is, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Red Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, sexism. <laughs> Tried and true classic. <laughs> Well, should we leave these people on a clit hanger? <laughs> um, anything you guys want to add um, before we go? I'm looking forward to Daredevil. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed yeah. they don't ruin Daredevil. Right. But, um, yeah, I, I, I still am interested in how they, like, kind of fit him in. It's, it's, it's going to be uh, cool, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Well, anybody uh, who's still with us, hopefully, hopefully everybody's still with us. Uh, please, please, please go on to uh, the um, um, YouTube, subscribe, leave comments. Also, you can subscribe to us in audio form on your podcast surface of choice. 
Um, and, and actually, we've been getting more subscribers and and uh, comments and stuff. So thank you very much. Yeah. Um, and uh, also, if you want, you can come over to Twitter and, and talk to us there as well. And guys, where can people find you on Twitter? At a name for this too, and that's number two. At unsolicited S U G. And you can of course find me at Zach Jones Live. That's Z A C H J O N E S L I V E. And that is gonna do it for all of our shenanigans and poppycock this week. Please, please, please tune in again next week. Bye guys. Take care. Have a good one.